guys, that's Clefairy 2 here, Megan here, and we're back for chapter 1, because last part we did the intro and the little quick guide to Pisces, now we're fixing to do chapter 1, but before we get into that, for those that are subscribed, stay subscribed and watch at least one piece of content on my channel, if you watch them all, but one piece of content is okay, thank y'all. For those that subscribe in the future, thank y'all in advance. If you want to know what I'll put on, what all I put on my channel, please check out my file on my channel. I have my uploading schedule on there. And if you uh, want more content from this girl, please like, share, comment, if you haven't already subscribed, and hit the notification bell so you know if I every single time I do an upload. So, for chapter one, it's called Be True to Your Side. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, and it and is said to contain a little of all the other eleven signs within it. One, on the one hand, this be, be throws upon you an infant wisdom and knowledge, and on the other hand, it conjures up the symbol of Pisces being the cosmetic dustbin. This is where everything ends up, but also where it begins. At one level, Pisces' role is to let go of what's no longer needed and prepare the way for the beginning of a new zodiac cycle. Pisces season leads up to the sun's entry into the first sign of the zodiac, which is Aries. On the day of the equinox, hurtling, hurtling spring in the northern hemisphere. During Pisces birthday season, there are already Glimmers of life returning as winter begins to fade and the warmth slowly turns to the earth, returns to the earth. Like all of the mutable signs, Pisces represents a change in season as you discard the old to make way for the new. It's not surprising you have a bundleless nature that wants to experience life the universe, and everything. As Pisces co-rulers are, co -rulers are Jupiter and Neptune, two of the big planets. In mythology, er, in mythology, Jupiter was a sky, a sky god, and Neptune was god of the sea. Both entries are vast and endless whether you're soaring through the sky out into the cosmos or dry, diving down into the dark depths of the ocean. The season of Lent takes place during your birthday month which its theme of penance and prayer, reflection and creation Carnation. Traditionally, this is a time of significant earth. No, this is a time of sacrifice and withdrawal when you consider what you're willing to give up. Atone for your sins and price self dental. Some Pisces individuals take these things to heart completely. You can choose to devote your life to prayer or withdraw from conventional society to lead a stage or spiritual path. The age of Pisces contained with the rays of Christianity and the fifth. Hang on, let me read it. The age of Pisces coincided with the rays of Christianity and the fish, 
which is your zodiac symbol, was a religious symbol. Pisces zodiac symbol depicts two fishes swimming in opposite directions joined by a cord. This alludes to your searching changeable nature which goes off in different directions seeking answers to a myth my 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 word of questions. You have one foot in reality but uh, another part of you wants to be uh, wants to go beyond what's possible to explore alternate alternative dimensions. To seek out all that magical and unexplainable in life. As a Pisces, you are the romantic of the zodiac in which er, in every sense of the world. You believe in all aspects of love and your architecture Archetypal, hang on, archetypal nature is kind and compassionate, sensitive and forgiving. Your artistic spirit seeks in, in, inspiration in the world, and your quest in life goes beyond the personal to see. What lies past an ordinary experience and the confines of the ego. You are often described as being other, other worldly or eternal, and it's true that you have a dedicate nature. You wear your heart on your sleeve, and you are typically vulnerable and impressionable. Add to this the fact that you're one of the emotional water signs, and you respond to life through your feelings. Kelly, if you're watching this, I hope that I understand, uh, makes you understand quite a bit of what you go for every time that you deal with things. You feel deeply you can be easily wounded by insens insensitivity and you pick up on other people's feelings. Your sensitive nature is finally immune to emotion, noise, color, even vibration. This means you often have synthetic abilities. And most are psychotic abilities. And most significant, your empathy knows no, no, uh, no bounds. You feel joy, sadness, happiness, and sorrow more intensely than other people. This can be a blessing, but also a weakness if you don't learn to filter out what's harmful or what's not yours to deal with. What traditional ruling planet is Jupiter, the planet linked to expansion, and sometimes you have to bring in your big hearted and all giving personality. Especially when you give so much that you have nothing left for yourself. Learning to love and nature yourself is nurture yourself is a critical Pisces lesson. Kelly, I hope, I hope you can relate to that because I also think you can. No offense, but you know, because it is your time. You can't help it. Your modern planet Neptune was discovered in 1846 and the element events and significant developments at the time a planet was found can reveal a lot about the planet's symbol.
symbolism. Neptune was discovered during the era of significant developments in photography and film spermicles, cults, and the occult and the spiritual movement in the Romantics. Neptune, Neptune, therefore, is considered the planet of imagination, myth, person, illusion, and fantasy. As a Pisces, it helps if you can find out, uh, find an outlet for your vivid imagination and a vessel for your dreams and your love of make believe. The world of escapism, escapism is Neptune's domain and includes poetry, music, and art, romantic love, and spiritual love, wine, and song. It's sometimes said of your sign that you are either a saint or a sinner or both, or and both are always to escape reality. A preferred strategy, perhaps, is to take a little bit of each and entwine them into the different strands of your intricate personality. Complexity is part of the Pisces psychic fitting your role as the last sign of the zodiac. The wheel of astrology has come full circle gathering insight, knowledge, and understanding along the way. It accumulates with your sign and signifying the universal as well as the personal the collective as well as the individual. One of your life lessons is to find where you belong, not only alongside other people, but in the wider cosmos, too. In astrology, Pisces rules the 12th house with its themes of hidden things, solitude, spirituality, and Mysticism. This sector of the horoscope is also called the house of self undoing. This means, perhaps, that being a Pisces is to learn how to lose yourself so you can find yourself to take off the mask you wear so you can become who you really are. Alternatively, it suggests breaking free of the ego in the search for oneness and unity. You're, you are the zodiac daydreamer and visionary whose explanations push back the boundaries of existence and far, as far as they will go. You go beyond what's normal to seek out what's explanatory. Uh, yeah, it's ex externally to find where all and wonder reside. The powers of belief, hope, and love accompany accompany you on your journey. Kelly, I hope you can understand my reading, and that's the end of chapter one. We will do your shadow side and your secrets in the next reading. Uh, Kelly, I hope you enjoy this if you are reading, if you are watching. If you are watching this, please let me know. Um, that's my little brother, Rudy, in the background. You can see him getting in the bath. Anyway, um... For those that are subscribed, stay subscribed and watch it. Lace one piece of content on my channel. Uh, I hope you watch them all, but one piece of content is okay. Thank y'all. For those that subscribe and if you subscribe, 
subscribe in the future. Thank you in advance. And if you want to know what I'll put on my channel, put on my channel please check out my bio on my channel. I have my uploading schedule on there. If you want more content from this girl, please like, share, comment if you haven't already. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to notified every notified every single time I do an upload. Rascal Fire 2, Browning, Simon Bringing Out. Peace out. Kelly, I hope you watch this and can understand what I'm saying and, and enjoy this. Uh, Rascal Fire 2, Browning, Simon Bringing Out. Peace out.